I think this is a massive game for the Cowboys. When you consider the fact they can create a little bit of separation for them in the division, knowing that the Washington football team has struggled, the Giants are dealing with a rash of injuries, just trying to get out of their own way. So a victory here for Dallas in their home opener would make a million, uh, excuse me, would create some space and separation. Easy for me to say. A top you got a million dollars on this game, Furman? You're sounding like me. <laughs> You know, <laughs> I wish. I, I don't have a million dollars in anything in my life at this point. Um, but when you look at the way this game breaks down, I think the biggest question for Dallas will be, is it going to be a vertical passing attack where they're able to put a little bit of stress on that Eagle secondary, which hasn't faced the living, breathing offense, in my opinion, to date? Or are we going to see a steady dose of Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard, much like we saw last week against the Chargers? For me, this number, three and a half, I don't think it offers you a ton of upside one way or another. My initial inclination is to lean under the total, but not a game that I've invested in yet. I feel odds makers did a great job in terms of setting this tide, side and total right where it needs to be. 51 and a half right now, the over under uh, at FanDuel as I check it. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys a three and a half point favorite. Do you like anybody for first TD? I'll tell you what I'm going to say in Fox Bet Live here in about an hour. I am taking Jalen Hurts to score the first TD 10-1 to 1, like the idea of a little read option mobile quarterback opportunity there. Anybody that jumps out to you on the Cowboys or the Eagles that you think shows particular value on first TD or any other props that you like? Yeah, I mean, Hurts makes a ton of sense. I mean, when you look at the way some of these primetime games have gone through the early season, you see inflated numbers on quarterbacks. And again, on Thursday night, you saw Sam Darnold get in the end zone first and foremost for Carolina because quarterback's legs become such a valuable weapon if you have a first and goal situation inside your opponent's five-yard line. I'll take an eagle, but again, I'll go further down the board for their deep threat. I'm not going to highlight Devontae Smith, who's clearly their number one. He's had more than a 25% target share each of the first two games, but I'll go with Quez Watkins. I think when you look at the way Dallas is going to go about defending Smith, his former Alabama teammate will be on him. I think there'll be some advantageous matchups on the outside. And if Philadelphia wants to take a deep shot or two early, maybe Watkins can actually get to the end zone unlike what he was able to do in that 90-plus yard reception against the 49ers. So I'll take him as a little bit of a long shot here. 